Hello, my name is Lucy and welcome to the virtual Benedetti Sessions creative tutorial all about Fantasia on a theme of Thomas Tallis by Rolf von Williams. This is such a fantastic piece of music and one of my favourite things about music is the storytelling aspect. Any piece of music that you play or that you listen to will have a story behind it. It might be a story that the composer has thought of or it might be something that you think of when you listen to it or when you play it. And at the Benedetti Sessions we think that everybody has the imagination that when they listen to a piece of music they can come up with the most brilliantly vibrant story and that is what we're going to do with this piece of music. We have three short creator tasks that anybody can take part in and all you need is your imagination and then you can decide whether you want to draw, paint, whether you want to do photography, maybe you love a bit of filmmaking, you can do absolutely anything. We just love to see how creative people can get. Now, Vaughan Williams wrote this piece of music after he'd been editing a new English hymnal and he came across this hymn that was written by Thomas Tallis in the 1500s. So you have a composer in the 1900s, the early 1900s, being inspired by another composer in the 1500s. Now, some people think that Ralph von Williams was taking inspiration from the past to reflect on music and how it could look in the future. But there's also some people that think that because von Williams had just been to France to work with the, the famous composer Ravel, he'd just been there to work on his orchestration, they think that he was using this hymn as a bit of an exercise to see how much went in on that course in France. But regardless, it's such a beautiful, beautiful piece of music. And hopefully this tutorial will give you some ideas about how you can get creative with it. So the first creative task that I thought of in my imagination was inspired by the two different composers. Thomas Tallis, who lived in the 1500s, and Ralph von Williams, who was born in the 1800s, but wrote this piece of music in the early 1900s. I was wondering, because you have one composer living in the Tudor time, Thomas Tallis, and one composer living in the more modern Edwardian time, Vaughan Williams, I was wondering what clothes would they wear? If they wore glasses, what would their glasses look like? I was thinking what would their shoes look like and what would their hat look like? Maybe you want to draw what they would be wearing. So for this, you're going to need to do some research. And then I was also thinking about, but how did they literally write the music? Was it with ink and paper? Was there another way? Were they using typewriters? Was it pencil? Composers have lots of different ways of writing the music and I wonder if you could do some research into how they actually wrote the music. And then Finally, I was thinking about if these two composers were going to communicate to each other from the 1500s to the early 1900s, I wonder how would they do this? And also, what might they say? So there's loads of things there that you can get creative with. Maybe you want to design the costumes and the clothes that they would be wearing. Maybe you want to think about the tools that they would be writing with. And also, I wonder what they would say to each other if they got the chance. Why don't you write it down? That's creative task number one. Now, before we go on to creative task number two and number three, we have to do something really important. I want you to listen to the piece of music. It is the most magical, magical piece of music. And when you're listening to it, if you want to draw, that's absolutely fine. If you want to write down the words that the music makes you think of, that's absolutely fine. Write down possibly how you feel Write down what your imagination sees, or maybe you just want to sit down 
and listen to this wonderful piece of music. But creative tasks two and three are gonna need you to have listened to the music because this is gonna inspire us with what we create next. Now the piece of music is quite long and don't feel like you have to listen to absolutely all of it. You can pick the beginning, the middle or the end or maybe a minute from each. But if you can find the time to just sit down and listen to all of it, we really recommend that you do because it will take you on the most magical, wonderful, reflective journey. So for creative task number two, we're going to think about what inspired Vaughan Williams to create this fantastic piece of music. We know that he was inspired by the composer Thomas Tallis and that brilliant hymn that he had written, but he was also inspired by something else. Now, when a composer writes a piece of music, they might be inspired by the past, by the composers that have been before them, by an historical event, or by mythology or folklore. But they also might be inspired by the world around them, the politics of the modern day. They might be inspired by the landscapes or by paintings, but they also might be inspired by literature and by stories. And we, if we look at the stories at the beginning of the 1900s, so many of them featured time travel. And call me naive, but I thought that time travel was quite a new idea. It was us wanting to get to Mars so that we could meet aliens. I had no idea it was so old. So what I want you to do is to listen to the piece of music. And as you're listening to the piece of music, see if you can hear the different worlds of time travel. I wonder what those worlds would look like. And I was just thinking it could be really cool for you to design your very own time travel machine by listening to the piece of music. Does it tell you, can it inspire you as to what colour your time travel machine might be, to the sounds that the machine might make, to the places that your time travel machine might go? I'm just so interested to see what the virtual Benedetti sessions participants can come up with and what their imaginations see when they listen to this piece of music, particularly as to what your time travel machine could look like. So that's your creative task number two, design us the most imaginative and wonderful time travel machine. You can draw it, but you can also make it. You can well, wouldn't that be fantastic if you could make it and we could all time travel, but you can make it with film or photography or with knitting, sewing. The world is your creative oyster. So for our third and final creative task, we're gonna sort of join up some of the ideas that we've already talked about today. I want us to think about this idea of using our past to inform a better future. Now for you, this might be you thinking about your future. It might be about the kind of job you want to have, the countries that you want to visit, the people that you want to meet. Or we could think about using knowledge of our past to inform a better future for the world that we live in. I know many of you are concerned about climate change, so possibly whilst you're listening to this piece of music, you could be thinking about creating something that's inspired by wanting our earth to be a greener and kinder place. Maybe you're inspired by something to do with equality, or maybe you're just thinking that you want adults to let children have pizza every single day. Like with all the other tasks, you can draw or you can make whatever you want to, but I really encourage you to listen to the music. And I think that if you like words, this creative task is also perfect. I would love to see the poems that people can come up with thinking about using knowledge of our past to inform a really excellently improved future. See what you can come up with, be as creative as you can, and remember, take inspiration from the music because 
all the answers that we could ever need are there. So there we have it, our three creative tasks. You can do one a week, you can do them over three days, you can do them over three months, you can pick and choose. However you want to do it is absolutely fine. If you do come up with any creative responses, we would love, love, love to see them. So please do use the hashtag Benedetti Sessions so that we can see everything that you make. Go get creative, have lots of fun, and thank you so much for watching this creative tutorial as part of the virtual Benedetti sessions.